Reaper's Shadow Step. The ability to teleport, one of the best flanking abilities in the game without a shadow of a doubt. But just where are the best positions to Shadow Step 2? In this video, I'll show you all of my favourites. Alright guys, so to kick things off, we're on Temple of Anubis on the attacking side since most of these Shadow Steps are going to be used to be attacking the defending team. So this first Shadow Step is going to be across the choke right before point A into the left room there. Now this works well but do beware that there is often a junk rat in the room behind that spamming grenades through and actually if you go right next to this wall you can often catch him unawares. But of course Symmetra can also be in this room not so much in comp but maybe well maybe in the lower ranks but if you're playing quick play you can sometimes expect the Symmetra to be there and um, she's set up a lovely microwave room for you so you don't want to be shadow stepping into that. Now this flank takes you up and through the window, I'm sure you guys know about this window by now, most people do. Uh, you can drop down onto that rooftop and if you wait up there for another shadow step, obviously I have the cooldowns off for the production of the video, but you would have to wait for a second cooldown. You can shadow step across to the very popular sniper platform up there. So if they have a widow or any kind of sniper, an annoying Torbjorn, something like that, you can take that out with relative ease there. If not, it's a great place to drop down and get a Death Blossom off on the actual point. Okay, so here we are attacking point B and this is the left entrance way. This one is a little bit ballsy guys. If there are any enemies down there, I don't really recommend doing this a lot of the time. But you want to go flush next to the wall so as to conceal your presence as much as possible. Now, there is the 250 med pack under the bridge there. If you do mess up, if people do start attacking you, you can grab that. Wraith form the hell out of there. But alternatively, you want to really get to the point as quickly as possible. And to do that, you want to wraith form next to the wall, jump up here, and you're basically already on the point. So it's a very, very quick way as Reaper to get straight on the point. Great to rejoin your teammates if they're in mid-push as well. Okay, so this one comes around the right side of the map. Now, this one, again, a little bit ballsy here to go up on the pillar. You want to go right on that back side to conceal yourself as much as you can from both their spawn and the point itself. I really, honestly, only use this one as a Death Blossom position. You can either jump down to the left and Death Blossom directly on the point, or you can jump to the right and try and kill incoming defenders with it. It's great if you're trying to run back to the point and get there as quickly as possible if your teammates are already on the point. However, if they're strongly defending the point and you're just going to try and shadow step up there, they are going to hear it, they are going to see it. So don't expect it to work under those circumstances. So here's a quick one you can use on the defending team if you're making it back to point A to defend. You can of course use this window, fall down here and straight away you're back to the choke and ready to hold things down again. So moving over to King's Row, obviously this one isn't an assault map, it's a payload hybrid map so you do have to take the first point and as such there are some decent Reaper shadow step positions you can use. Um, you'll see I'm going to use the same idea with the choke here, stand off to one side and shadow step across to the staircase. Now as long as you do this with the correct positioning and you end up right next to that far wall, they shouldn't really see you. In fact, they shouldn't be at that choke at all. They should be further onto the point, at least if uh, your guys' comp games are anything like mine. But from this position, you can jump straight down and get onto the point if you wish, start causing some havoc in and amongst their ranks. Additionally, you can also take the house behind me now uh, and come out through that entrance, which is also a good plan. It's just really going to push the defenders back, and that is essentially Reaper's job. It's to put on the pressure, make them feel uneasy, so that they don't just concentrate all of the firepower on that big, big choke there. Now, it also works from the other side of the choke here, so you can shadow step right into this house on the left, on top of the med pack, which is rather nice, actually. But there will usually be somebody next to this house, so they'll probably hear the sound cue. But it at least gets you in the house without taking any damage. Then you can peek left, you can peek right. And Reaper plays this house really, really well because obviously it's very close range combat in there. Moving round towards the next payload checkpoint, you can shadow step up here. You want to be aware if there's going to be a McCree, but it's usually safer than taking the alleyway to the right as there's often a Genji or a Tracer using that route. Now this one here I like a lot. It's a really good Death Blossom positioning if you can get it right you are quite obvious though when you pop out there so what i like to do is actually hit the key and position myself behind the wall and then just sidestep out and instantly click or press a i suppose if you're 
playing on console and and take the shadow step there it takes two full seconds to complete so unless somebody manages to turn around and headshot you in two seconds you're going to be up on top of that platform and all you have to do is jump down and hit q to hopefully score a load of kills or at least seriously disrupt their team now this one is moving up to the final payload checkpoint. It's going to be a pretty normal shadow step up onto the central platform there, which is great to go in. But instead of just going from the middle of the road, you're going to go behind those boxes. You're going to shadow step into this little alcove here. So nobody sees where you shadow step from. Nobody sees where you shadow step to. Uh, then from the defending side, there's this one here. It's, it's pretty decent when they're trying to make the push for that checkpoint just past that yellow and black stripe thingy there that blockade you can sometimes just shadow step up there jump down and uh, drop the death blossom on them that's quite nice pretty obvious one i know but i thought i'd include it nevertheless moving on to hanamura guys we're going to be going as the attackers of course over to point a and another choke another linear shadow step here i think too many people use shadow step as a vertical thing and uh, honestly i uh, usually use it on a horizontal plane much more so you can see the position you get here is nice the defenders on the choke there will be able to see you if they turn around but the guys opposite up on the platform will not be able to see you and from here you are of course free to take the staircase and move along the flank and then of course from the cover of this window you can shadow step across to the balcony on the outside of the pagoda or whatever this building is shrine Work your way around, and of course you've got the nice little window here, the Death Blossom window, quite handy. Alternatively, if you're attacking and um, for some reason there's nobody standing in the choke, which will probably be at this point if you've actually gotten onto the point or your teammates have gotten onto the point, you can shadow step up onto that platform. I'm, I'm just showing you guys if you get the positioning right. You can do like we did on King's Row, hit E and then just sidestep out and complete the shadow step straight afterwards it's pretty nice to get up to that window and if you've got the death blossom hammer to drop then uh, it's always good for that moving on to point b not a great point for reaper actually in terms of shadow stepping you can go to either side of that wall and shadow step onto the opposite balcony and then you can wait for the cooldown if you wish and um, shadow step on the back platform but you do have to be wary of people on the opposite platform so it can be a dangerous thing i would say it's best for dropping a death blossom again on the point if the defenders are well set up and they've got at least one hit scanner up on the balconies he's most likely going to take you out so it is quite a situational one and here's a quick one for the defending team you will be surprised how many people forget about this the right hand flank man when you're going to defend and the the attackers are on the point Take the right hand flank and shadow step across the gap. It will save you so much time in getting back to the point to defend it. So here we are on Volskaya. I'm going to be taking a look at the second checkpoint here. The first checkpoint is relatively easy to acquire as the attackers on this map. But the second one can be a little bit of a sticking point. So here's a nice little uh, flank. You can actually go through that doorway behind the crate there without anybody seeing you. Um, take the flank round up on the balcony again very nice for dropping down also pretty good for clearing out enemies up top there for example annoying people like soldier or mccree so moving on to the next checkpoint here another sticking point for a lot of teams i feel very nice to come in the right doorway and get behind that orange tarp up there and shadow step next to the ship this protects you from pretty much all the defenders except whoever happens to be up there on the high ground and when you take this point, you really need to take the high ground. You need to get whoever is up there pestering your team and get them to jump off or just kill them. All right, guys, Numbani. Now, rather than actually shadow stepping past their choke, this one actually works shadow stepping behind the defenders. So you've got a med pack in there right as you shadow step in, which is very, very useful. You can take the high ground or you can take the low ground here, getting right in behind the defenders. So here we are coming up on the second checkpoint. I like to go and use this car for cover and then blink a little bit past this entranceway so that nobody's going to see me here. Then you can jump in there, kill anybody who's defending up there. And if there isn't anyone, that's great. You've got a 250 med pack down below and, uh, well, you probably shouldn't be shooting the pots like I am, but rather going outside and killing the defending team. So coming up to the final checkpoint here, again, another tough nut to crack. Just a simple shadow step across the choke, 
hopefully shouldn't put you in too much harm's way unless there's somebody around that corner. All right, guys, here we are on Volskaya Industries. Now, I'm not going to show you the leftmost flank across the water because I assume everyone knows about it by now. But this one, just the same as the other chokes, get as close to the wall as you can so as not to be seen by the enemy. Jump your way over those tires and you're away for a good flank behind the enemy team. Now, this does work going in the right hand room here. You're a little bit more open if there's somebody in that room. But if you want to get the best shadow step, you want to actually move into that corner. It does put you a little bit in harm's way, but it means you can get to the back wall there, which means you're in much better cover when you actually complete your shadow step. So capture point B then. You, of course, have the platforms off to the left. I'm not going to show you guys those because I'm sure you've seen Reaper shadow step onto those a million times and ride them round to the defending side. You can also shadow step onto those railings right at the back and move straight along here and kill whichever hit scanner they happen to have or if they have a bastion or a torb or any of that cheesy nonsense you can take that out with relative ease as well so this is going to be the last map i'll show for this video guys this is icon Valley, the new map of course and as such i haven't had a whole lot of playtime on it and haven't really found out all of the best shadow step spots so i'm just going to show you this one here for today which is to get through the choke if they have a Reinhardt shield up, and they will always have a Reinhardt, you will not be able to actually shadow step through it. So you'll have to wait until he drops his shield. But it's a pretty nice way to get right next to that wall. It protects you from the bastion that's often in the corner over by that car I was just shooting at. And it means that it's going to cause them to fall back to the point. Hopefully alleviating some of the defenses and allowing your team to poke on through that choke. This has definitely worked for me sometimes. Our team have just been banging their head against the wall. This choke on this map is brutal. It literally has no flanks there. There is no way you can flank left or right. You just have to go through the choke or over the choke. And that's why you basically just have to shadow step right through it as Reaper. Those are all of the shadow steps I'm going to show you guys for today. I may make a second part with the rest of the maps. So a couple of key things to being successful with these shadow steps. First of all, make sure that you have Wraith Form available. So if you do end up in deep doo-doo, you can Wraith Form out of there. Go and get yourself a med pack. The second thing is to know the locations of all of the med packs very well. The good thing about a lot of these shadow steps is that they are close to med packs. So you can easily Wraith Form right on top of one. And thirdly, get good at aiming. Reaper isn't the hardest class to aim with. But at the end of the day, if you aren't landing half of your shots, shadow step flank or not, you're probably not going to do a lot of damage to the enemy team. So that is going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you guys managed to take something away from this video. A few new positionings for Reaper as he is a very position oriented hero. Let me know if you would like to see the second part with all of the other maps. I think I did seven maps, so there should be another six left to go there. I'll be happy to do that if you guys are interested. As always, thank you for watching and supporting me. Throw the video a like down below if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.